Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Unfair Difficulty. Our newest uh, chapter in this beautiful playthrough is to do the quest Rot. We need to find a local gang that we found evidence about and I've just discovered Intriguing. their hideout. And now let's join and start uh, finding out more about the hideout. A couple of thugs here and a kingpin over there. Oh no, I triggered them. What a joy to see you in my humble refuge. I see you've come here uh, to be introduced to the truth. Which do you choose then, words, fire or metal? You already know the answer, heretic, and Argenda grabs her weapon. I'm more fond of fire and metal. Good! Fire and metal are the essences of life. People are worms and truly uh, alive only when they are ripping their enemies apart. Do you even know what the name means outside of Footfall Calls those Envers? Auxilio non veniet. Help, help will not arrive. The moor has closed and the Corona six pounds is on its own now. A new era has come and we are its sover uh, sovereigns. Distance is not but ashes. Spare none of them! It, okay. Interesting. We are all uh, in Toxin. Nice. Okay, we gotta get that thing back online. Abelard moves in. Abelard moves in. We do have a decent cover here, 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 and here. Uh, it's just a matter of who's taking what. Heinrich uh, can take the front line. Saiken moves here. Argenta moves here. Uh, Cassia interesting case as well could move over here and then she would, uh, she and Pascal could do things together hmm. Hmm, let me think. Yeah, well, uh, I guess that's a good enough starting position. Alright, Pascal is the first one to act. Request approved. Starts putting up all of the necessary defenses here. Alright, there we go, moving in. Pascal has taken a little bit of damage, but I think we're fine. What uh, we don't know yet is how strong the enemies are. 40 hit points, that seems decent. Good enough. Massive hit, removal of cover. That seems legit. And let me just Im improve uh, the defense uh, right here. Pascal overwall is fine. Hold on. Let's make it quick. Let's get to it. Touch me. All right, what is happening? 
Enver Investigator. Damn, they do have good dodge. Oh, nice. You can even see all of the things that they are having. The start of your turn, this creature gains plus five weapon skill for Just each ally. Ah, here we go. Oh, come on, yes. guys. That's not cool. Okay, could we move up? No, we cannot move up far enough, so the only thing that we could do is move to here. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Do this. Kill a couple of these guys and me. If you insist, Lord Captain. Give him sets. That's all we could do. Conservative tactics. Wow, okay, well, we need to heal. Rejoice in battle. Even my little one is of the opinion that this Be is not strong. cool. Greater trials lie ahead. Yeah, field medicine at its finest. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. All right, moved as far as we can, and now it's a matter of can we get rid of some of these guys? I'll do it. Burst fire. Eradicated. Uh, well, we could hit a few. As the Emperor commands, I strike is a prayer. I'll do it. Let's get to it! How? Let's make it quick! Okay, well, I've for some reason, good old uh, Abelard is still standing, and that's all that counts. It's all that matters, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he will... For sure, heal up and uh, start going to town. First of all, we need to move in. At, the fall. at your beck and call. Thank you. That is important. All of you attacking me is also important. And slicing you into pieces is also important. Abel Arch, 60 hit points. I like it. Focus. Um, but of course, Lord Captain. We are healing and healing. And... Hmm. Listen. Avalard needs a bit more oomph. That's fine. And since he's high heretics, uh, this you should really bomb like nothing else uh, the answer is apparently not so purge soul deals plus 50 percent 100 percent against chaos worshippers so you guys you, uh, you're telling me you're not chaos worshippers can i take your word for that I think I cannot. 
If I was to move here and hit, that's decent damage. The other option that we do have is we're still burning, Sargenta burning. Now she's only toxicized. She's only under toxicity. Hmm. Yeah, we could heal seven word, uh, seven wounds, fresh injury, bleeding, but burning isn't even healed uh, with it. Uh, this year. I think endurance is on our endurance side. is fine. Uh, shouldn't have moved all the way over there, but it's okay. Good, let's go, baby. Demise. That's a hit and a kill, and we're continuing with hopefully hitting more. This guy could die. Seventy percent. I think that's the best we can do. Let's just get this guy down. All right. We're at least getting vers uh, versatility. Pascal moves up. We're focusing on these guys. Defenses here are staying strong. Uh, one at a time. Scouting, making him vulnerable. Kill. 75%. Good, fantastic. So... This guy seems to be kind of a leader. The Kingpin. What kind of weapon does he have? Chainsaw. We do have cover. Might as well put us in a better position with shooting. Let's get to it. Alright, Cassia. Forces these guy to uh, these guys to move over. Which is fine. If I may. Heinrich gets a buff. Good, and that's, I think, okay, overall uh, speaking. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. Good. Abelard continues to heal himself. Field medicine at its finest. Hits this guy. Reduce to dust. 
kills this guy. And we are okay for now. We're going to get up there and we're going to teach these guys a ve very valuable lesson, as in not to have around with us. Let's see to it. I won't object to it. Let's see to it. Argenta gets some healing. And I think we're just gonna give ourselves strong arm and are going to move forward. Everyone, step aside. Oh, there is still an investigator. What kind of interesting noodle are you? Uh, okay. Well, I would say it is the kind of interesting noodle. Uh, that is just standing around here waiting for us to hit him I will triumph good he's burning and is a bit reduced Purpose guides me also forcing him to move up to us and we're good Pasco moves here, opens uh, this guy fully. Thirty-one hit points, fantastic. Fair enough. Me? If you insist, Lord do Captain. this and uh, try to do Isn't this a job that. For the and whilst you're at it, give I Pascal a turn because Pascal deals a decent amount of damage. <laughs> Opening him again. Running by Eric <gasps> 50 points. Lovely. Oh, come on, you don't need to hit Pascal, really. You don't need to. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. I'll do it. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Good. Time to teach this guy up here a lesson. A good lesson, that For is. My lead. Victory is imminent. Okay, you think that you can parry. Fair enough. It will be done. Well, I think we first of all need to open you up a little bit more. Heinrichs heals himself. Get me a target. That's minimum damage. I don't like that. That and that, and we're good. Descend upon the 
weak. I need no diamonds. Good hit. I will triumph. Burn him. And I think we're okay. Good, we're scouting him out big times. Before missing the shot. And... Yeah, we're okay. Battlefields moves to here drowned in scarlet gives him this gives him that gives him a turn At your back and forth. which we are fully buffed using in order to absolutely mess him up I will do my and declare duty. him to be our sworn enemy then in the name I shall prevail. We're giving him one, two. Indeed, I took care of this one. <laughs> yes, baby. I'm at your Nothing. service. I will endure. Let's seize the opportunity. All right, fantastic. What did we get? Anver Chain Sword. Um, when hit, the target suffers penalty to armor, which stacks. Okay, well, that's good. And twenty bonus to coercion. The world trembles beneath my feet. At the end of the wearer's turn, they gain. 20% uh, dodge. Oh, that's not bad either. Minor loot. Okay. So. I like that extra movement. You can definitely use that. Um, extra dodge. Might be something that we put onto Pascal. The Emperor sets my path. On and for melee attacks, that's just a one-handed weapon, but it deals a nice chunk of damage. So I have to wonder if that is the right weapon for you, for instance, Heinrich, uh, because, I mean, the stacking penalty is good. Alas, no. Heavy armor, not good. I think the rest is okay. And we got a hand flamer, a good one. I tread a path unexplored. Good, so. What does the rod say? 
The thuggish behavior has been stopped. Yeah, we've killed all of them. Fantastic. Multi-key. Lots of loot. That's not bad. I mean, we can use it in order to improve relationships. My biggest problem is we still don't have the wealth factor or the income factor yet to afford better items. Embrace true power. So instead of randomly um, dealing with factions, let's just collect some cargo. Look over there. And pretty let's systematically see, see which of the factions we can trade with. Okay, so we got uh, rot done. Uh, part of the Shadow Quarters, the poorest, uh, have been placed under quarantine. The authorities suspect an outbreak. Lord Captain decided against going the dangerous locations in person. However, the leech believes after the death of the last uh, victims, the area can uh, be safely disconnected. No, I'm not waiting for the situation to resolve itself. Okay, I think we're trying to go in there next. And in order to do that, we need to speak with Liege. Maybe I can turn around my previous decision. So, let's move there. All right, man, a word. Uh, Vladam Torka Liege. Greetings, Lordship. I uh, don't mean to hurry you, but I hope our deal is still in place. The station continues to experience increasingly se uh, severe shortages. Um, good day, Liege. I am accompanying the Rogue Trigger. Please pay no mind to my presence. I did what I could. I found and neutralized the Avengers Aggiator in Chief. That is truly outstanding, Your Lordship. Footfall can now rest easy. At least in your next mad hoodlum makes himself known. There's an establishment not far from here. They let people torture fake Xenos there. I wanted to stop. It will be dealt with. And a man who introduced himself as sor house uh, servant of House Quarter asked to uh, have a word with me. And then he mentioned the odds. Someone blew his brains out. The inverse again, I presume. Those uh, anarchical degenerates don't know whom they shoot. Maybe he's in bed with them. There was only one person who stood to gain from this murder. You. You're suggesting that the outlaws were acting on my orders. Uh, then I vociferously deny anything of that uh, sort. However, if you merely allude uh, to the possibilities that someone who cares about footfalls fate could have started a rumor. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, look, we could, we, we still only have 20 profit factor. That's a bit of a telepath uh, staff here that we could get. Um, and a few boots, fair enough, but uh, that's not, and yeah, and uh, grenades, but that's not worth investing that much reputation here. Unless, of course, uh, we do have uh, exactly what he wants. And the answer is we have too little uh, to make that work. Okay. I would like to intervene. I would like to intervene. Where the shadows are deepest of all. On the Lord Captain's orders, help has been sent to the residents of the sealed off area. 
Can I track this quest, uh, quest and can I still change what I've decided? Hmm. Hmm. If the okay, well, let me see if I can change that and if we can do something about uh, the quest status. All right, I decided uh, that the quests are likely currently not closable. I don't see a way of how we can find anything in the Shadow Quarter, so I need to come back a little bit later in time. But now we're going to the Void Ship, and with that, we are going to take on our journey. There is more to explore, to be fair, on... in the Coronos environment and we got maybe a couple of companions also that want to talk with us. So Secrets of a Cult um, Heinrichs must make his way to Kiava Gummer. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and then Uh, we need to get to our main uh, planet in order to become the true new ruler. And Jay uh, wants to say something as well. Allow me to thank you again for helping me with the cargo, Sherin. I am sure the Ashmags who squirreled away my goods won't give up so easily, and I'll hear more about their scheming yet. Let's strike a deal, Sherin. I will watch your back if you do me a favor and watch mine. <laughs> well, enough jokes. Is there something you wanted? Was there some business you wish to discuss? Oh, Sherin, I did manage to spark your interest. Allow me to invite you to a more private place. All right. Tell me what you got in mind. Shireen, the exalted one himself, brought us together. The day you crossed of Vladiam's uh, threshold, he led us uh, to the cargo and gave his blessing for the return. Do you know what people uh, on my world would say to such things happening? What's gained is to be shared with your neighbor. Ooh. Um, well, an Alderi... Sniper rifle and Bloodseeker Drukari weapon proficiency. Well, these weapons are dope, but uh, we would need to get an extra talent. I'm sharing what I've gained with you. Please accept the humble gifts. Okay. Accept them with gratitude. You know, uh, you would appreciate Zeno's mastery and their craft. So, Mera, I wanted to discuss with you is related to business. You know that I sell Xeno artifacts to interested Imperial subjects. Uh, business is going well. My network runs without my participation. But when it comes to expansion, well, that's where I hit the wall. Falco especially. Uh, rivals envy my success. Falco especially. I'm certain the theft in the cargo was his doing. And while the Imperial's authority may be fragmented in the expanse, I could crack down on people of my profession for any moment. If a rogue trader put a good word in for the servants of the Adeptus Administratum, I could become an official trade representative of the Imperium. Just imagine a little scrap of paper would offer me and my agents protections against the Ashmax schemes far better than any refractor field. And the best part of all of this, uh, it will cost you precisely nothing, Shireen. All you have to do is st stop by the Administrium Palace, obtain the certificate from the Master of Seals, my information tells me that the palace is located on Dragonos, your capital world. And of course, I will repay you in kind. Good. Let's help you. Exalted blessed you. And also, 
I will add no complaints about your friendship, Shireen. I will not be a trade representative of the Imperium just yet, but I can still help you with whatever you need. You must have some factions you'd like to establish relationship with. The severe Drusarians. Uh, the hot-headed pirates of Casbella. Or needs the right words. Hmm. Let's use the Drusarians. I'm mainly also in interested in increasing our wealth a little bit. Because that means more loot, and more loot means good. Currently we came out kind of dead even. Lost a little bit, gained a little bit. Uh, let's double check. I would like to understand if we can to what do I owe this visit trade with anyone Wrong person for that I wanted to talk to Gen uh, generous Drenkov exactly so Good, so we got the Drusarians, which would come in hot and heavy with a couple of, uh, yeah, well, not enough. We don't have 21. Uh, that is unfortunate. Here we would need to be much, much, much richer. We would theoretically get a couple of boots and a staff, but yeah. These guys are helping us. Super special prizes for us, which is great. Big fat discount. The truth is... Can't really get the profit factor up. Uh, if we can't get the profit factor up... There ain't no way that we're trading with any of those. Uh, this is the only thing that we could get. A militant's cloak. Hmm. Not cool. Holy gifts always are helping so much. So that's a thousand. And a little bit of uh, jewelry. All right, well. That's pretty much about it. So, got the first uh, melee attack in combat cannot be parried or dodged. Uh, that's cool, but not really that uh, helpful for us. Hmm. Good. Well, back to what I was originally planning. Let's take a look. At where we would want to go. We do have a couple of planetary uh, planetary excursions that uh, we could do. We have three of those like automatic mining uh, tools, so maybe this dead world. Mobile mining outposts assembled in accordance with the blood standards. This uh, small industrial complex can be deployed on practically any world, however, inhospitable. Uh, inhospitable. Yeah, okay, then 
Let's do that. Uh, the Surf clan assigned to it will devote itself to the maintenance and sacred mechanism and the extraction of resources needed uh, by the rogue trader. Okay, can I drag it into? No. Yes, no, maybe. Extract them. Nope. Well, we got a dead world, other than that. Yeah, these guys, all it's all good. actually get something new. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. We've been in footfall. And... Yeah, hmm. How do we leave the sector? I know that there are a lot of planets. I think we potentially need to speak to our navigator. I know that the ship is already in sync and the quote unquote machine spirit here has been uh, bepeaced. So we should be able to fly somewhere else. I'm just not understanding where. Uh, but I know who can help us here. <clears throat> This guy, the Master Helmsman. All right, apparently not. Uh, then Cassia. Words cannot describe how boring the bridge is. With I have enjoyed. Uh, let's talk about the Vox Master. There we go. Um, connect me to the vessel's main channel. I wish to bolster the morale of the crew. It's done. Address the crew with a rousing speech and hear your voice roll all over the ship, reaching the even normally quiet corners of the vessel. When the broadcast ends, you hear distant shouts of approval. Um... Well, that's all cool. If the High Priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus have been able to discern how the ship was able to start the warp engine, the engineers spent uh, hours pursuing the quest of knowledge in the hopes of uh, uh, comprehending it. Um, and nothing is happening here. All right. One more chance. How about Pascal? You get us out of here. Your Messiah knows all, comprehends all. May you let hmm. your Messiah. The request is approved. I was wrong. I never met him, but I he felt my mentor put forth a thesis. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. May you. All right. Come on, guys. Can't be that difficult to leave. 
If I was to leave, I would take the star map, and without a doubt there is something like a way of leaving this sector, right? Okay, here we go. Travel between systems is fraught with mortal peril. It takes place in another dimension known as the warp. Only the navigator can plot the course. Uh, click on the circular button at the bottom of the screen to have the ship uh, chart a new route. Okay, cool. No way. What is happening? Standard scanning could not reveal a route to the selected system, but you can still get there by spending points of navigation inside. Uh, click um, on a system and uh, use navigation inside. Navigation inside is a special resource ex um, acquired by exploring the Coronas expanse by scanning new systems abnormalities and participating in non-combat space events. The navigator of the flagship uses the built-up warp resource um, and it is safe. Okay, cool. So what is this here? Soto's tomb. Avioros. Trinitos. To the Imperium? I see, so this is super, super difficult, uh, this is moderate difficult, and so on. Travel to uh, Soto's route is safe. Haha! <laughs> okay, so now we do have Soto's tomb or Aviaros. Question of the day is, what's cooler? Um, what are we going to do? Let me double check. Good, not 100% clear where we need to go, but I would say we're going here, Aviaros. We just made the route safe. Bam! I see. Okay, we're visiting uh, this. Let's see what's happening in Avioros. Wow, the game is vast. Wow, this game is vast. Okay. Beginning a scan. Adamantine. The planet uh, has valuable resource. Before the resource can be harvested, an extractum needs to be set up in the world's surface. Scan the planet and select uh, the icon. Okay, cool. Fantastic. So we're now mining adamantine. Small human dwelling stands on the barren desert planet. Scouts report that an old hermit lives there who spends his days in prayer to the emperor. Uh, ask the old hermit for a blessing. Without Captain Surprise, the old hermit turns out to be a navigator. And when the old man discovered the noble status of the visitors, he's willingly uh, recounted his tale. He had retreated to this planet long ago back when he was still in his youth, after he had realized uh, that his mind would not withstand frequent uh, forays into the Immaterium, the realm of the Arc Enemy. The Hermit spoke with pride about how he had worshipped the Emperor each day and every moment of his life. But when he mentioned the golden light of the Astromenacon, his voice quivered. When his guests left, he 
started uh, he uh, stared after them for a long time his gaze filled with sadness yeah I would love to take him on board even if he's an old hermit he's still a navigator a space hulk beginning the scan drifting void ship look at that well sure let's get on the ship but I think this is a perfect uh, time for a cliffhanger because you just as much as I want to know what is going to happen on the ship but we're going to explore that the next time if you truly want to explore the space hulk of YouTube make sure that you click the like button because it's the only way to scan it I promise you without it you will be lost in the warp forever take care have a good one and see you soon bye bye